my child fuck up the house every day, which means I got to clean up every day. <laughs> so if I ain't doing none of that other stuff, trust me, I'll be slaving in the kitchen trying to clean, going to the gym, working on my diet, right? Yelling at my child, sit down, right? <laughs> right? Take them shoes off of Maya. Stop stomping. <laughs> yeah. I'll be doing that. <laughs> and in a case she not here to fuck up the house <laughs> and have me cleaning and being a slave in my own house. <laughs> in the case she ain't got me doing that, I got a piano in there. And I got... I got some chords I could be practicing on. Yep. I got some chords I could be practicing on to get my piano skills back up. In the case I don't feel like playing the piano, in the case I don't feel like playing the piano, I got a little rudiment book somewhere in here. I got a little rudiment book to play on my little drum pad. Little drum set. <laughs> it's always something to do. And in the case that I don't feel like drawing, I mean, playing the piano, or you know I can draw real well. Did y'all know I could draw? Y'all know I'm really good with the pencil, right? Yeah, I can draw. In the case I don't feel like doing none of that other shit, I can take out a, some paper and draw some portraits. In the case I don't feel like doing that, <laughs> in the case I don't feel like doing that, I can always sing a tune and create music as we all know that I'm pretty good at rapping. I can, I can make a whole new rap album. In the case I don't feel like doing that, <laughs> I always have Friday and Saturday to do my live shows that last about three hours on average. In the case it ain't a Friday or Saturday, it might be a Wednesday where I have to do my live show then. And if I ain't got none of that to do, I could probably schedule my Love Man and Manipulation Decoded workshop. When... Right, and here's the thing, somebody said nap. I ain't even, I haven't e even added sleep <laughs> into this equation. I ain't even added sleep into this equation. I don't have no time for men. I have zero time for men, zero. If I dated a man, that man would never hear from me. Right, cooking keto meals, right? How do I have time for a girlfriend? Well, here's the thing about a girlfriend. My girlfriend is my friend. My girlfriend is a supporter. So I could, I can talk to my girlfriend while I'm doing all this. We could just sit on the phone. I enjoy just sitting on the phone. We don't have to be talking about nothing. We don't have to be talking about nothing. You could just be there to watch me work, listen to me work. I can listen to you work. That I just I just like that. We don't have to be on the phone for a reason. You know what I'm saying? With a male, you can't just sit on the phone with a male. It's always got to be talks of sex or some other stupid shit. Right? Y'all know how y'all have watched me. Typically when I go typically when I go live with y'all and I'm working, I end up giving y'all attention, right? I end up giving y'all attention. Now, I have done everything that I've done. I have done it being on live. When I wrote when I wrote uh 41 Shades of Men, I didn't write 41 Shades of Men sitting on TikTok. 
but I was sitting on Facebook. I would turn Facebook on if I wasn't talking to my first girlfriend at the time because my first girlfriend was, um, I was with her when I was writing 41 Shades of Men. So if I wasn't on the phone with her while I was writing it, I would turn Facebook on and I would write and have the people kick it with me while I'm writing. I like that energy, just somebody being around. I just like the energy of somebody being around. So, but when I turn it on with y'all, I end up talking to y'all. But that's not how I do it when I'm on the phone with somebody I'm dating. I'll be on the phone with them and I won't be saying too much of nothing. And if I do say something, it's because I'm telling them what I'm writing and letting them hear. I'm like, okay, I want you to hear this, that, and the other one. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I that's how I have time for a girlfriend. That's how I have time for a girlfriend. What what do a man need from you though? A man needs you to be up under him, needs you to feed his ego, he needs you to pay attention to him. He needs you to cook. He need all your attention to be on him. Girlfriend don't need that. Even though my first girlfriend was annoying in certain aspects, one thing is she was cool enough for me to sit on the phone with her. Right? We still talk, but she just was hard-headed and certain certain stuff that she was just driving me crazy. But when we would be on the phone, a lot of the times, you know, we'd just be kicking it. it I like that kind of I like that kind of energy. That why I can. That's why I could do that. My second girlfriend couldn't sit on the phone like that. My second girlfriend couldn't sit on the phone like that. Like if I would get too quiet and I and, and I wasn't saying nothing, she would be like, "Okay, well I gotta go and go to bed." You know what I'm saying? So I guess it's a certain energy that I derive with people being around to a degree. I have, a, I have Capricorn placements. I have Capricorn placements in my chart, but I am, I am on the cusp of, a, of Capricorn and Aquarius. I'm on the cusp of Capricorn and Aquarius. My birthday is January 21st. My birthday is January 21st. So I'm, on, I'm like at the beginning of the cusp of Aquarius and Capricorn and then I actually have Capricorn placements in my chart what's the best apps to research your charts human design seem too complicated all of them matter all of them matter human design but I have multiple astrology apps I don't care how many astrology apps come out for some reason I want them all right and they all have different strengths and different features of them. So, you know, I have Astro Matrix. I absolutely love Astro Matrix. I have um, the pattern. I have time passages. I also have CoStar. CoStar is my least favorite of all of the apps that I have, but I got it. I got it. I'm very theatrical. You can tell I'm a Leo rising. You can absolutely tell I'm a Leo rising. <laughs> I'm multi-talented. I'm very th theatrical, right? <laughs> I'm very dramatic in my delivery. <laughs> right? You can, uh, yeah, you can definitely tell I'm a Leo rising. Mm hmm. Yeah. Astrology is real. It is definitely real. And so is human design. Do I date people based on their zodiac sign? No, but I will dismiss a person based on their zodiac sign. I know that sound like it's the same thing, but it's not. 
Because I don't look at you and be like, oh, yeah, I got to date. I need to date another Aquarius. I need to date this, need to date that. No, but I will dismiss a person based on their fucking <laughs> sign. And for right now, Sagittarius and fucking Scorpio are not qualified. <laughs> right now, Sagittarius and Scorpio are disqualified. <laughs> Don't take it personally. <laughs> Don't terror shit is real. <laughs> I know what to find and I stay looking for shit. I ain't got time. Now, the studies show men fear other men. What the fuck I look like getting a coward? What the hell I look like wasting my time on a damn coward? Huh? <laughs> and besides, <laughs> I, <laughs> I want somebody that got a rack up here. And I don't want it. I don't want no. In order for a man to have a rack here, he got to do one of two things. He either got to get fat or he got to get implants. <laughs> he either got to get fat or get implants. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm just telling you. <laughs> And do I look like the type that, that want them like that? Do I look like the type that want them like that? Hell no. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'll I show you my book cover. I I I I'll be generous and show y'all the book cover that uh that AI generated for me. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. Yeah. Spare his ego and save your life. Spare his ego and save your life. It's gonna be a. Yeah. <laughs> 